All right, now a live look at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, courtesy of Earth Cam. You can see rain and wind as Tropical Storm Ophelia is expected to make landfall in North Carolina in a matter of hours. Now, this is a look at some of the conditions on the beach in North Carolina. Earlier this evening, a high surf advisory and tropical storm warning are in effect for parts of the coast tonight. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us now. Natalie, this storm is bringing heavy rain to parts of the southeast yeah. tonight, but it's also going to bring some drier air to the Tampa Bay area. We're actually going to get the good impacts, Carolina, especially on the backside of the system as it pulls away from us. But yeah, North Carolina tonight already seeing a lot of that water lap up along the coastline, causing some coastal flooding, damaging winds and dangerous storm surge. Also the main concerns as Ophelia does not only remain a tropical storm, but barely keeping that tropical storm status over the next couple of hours. We are just four miles per hour away from officially making it to a hurricane. So it is very, very close to creating those hurricane force winds. But there it is. Ophelia continuing to move to the north northwest tonight at 12 miles per hour. It is going to make landfall just along the coast of North Carolina there as we get closer to one, two o'clock in the morning. So it will happen overnight, but we'll continue to see that steady northerly flow, gradual weakening through the weekend, conti continuing to even produce a good amount of rainfall up and down along the east coast through the week weekend ahead. There is that drier air on the other side of it, and that's what's going to be pushing our direction. We'll talk about that coming up in my full forecast. That's not the only thing we're watching in the tropics. We also have Invest 90L in the eastern Atlantic. This is a disorganized area of thunderstorm activity, but it is forecast to turn into our next tropical depression as we get to the later this weekend and through early next week. A lot of models continue to not only take it through the central Atlantic, but then also curve it north of the Leeward Islands. So we're not worried about that as well, but we do keep churning our way through the Atlantic hurricane list. Again, we'll talk about our local weather and what you can expect for this weekend coming up.